Hello kids, hope you all are doing very well and you are getting information and knowledge from my video. Let's start with the next part, part 4, Food and Health, Chapter 2. Now in our previous videos, we have learnt about diseases, non-communicable diseases. And in this video, we will learn about communicable diseases. These are the diseases that can be passed on from one person to another. They are spread by microorganisms or you can say microbes or germs called bacteria, protozoa and viruses. These germs spread through coughing, spitting and sneezing. Germs enter the body of the person through nose, mouth, water, food and cut in the skin. Bacteria causes diseases like plague, tuberculosis, typhoid, pneumonia, meningitis. Protozoa causes diseases like malaria, amoebic dysentery. Viruses cause diseases common cold, polio, chicken pox, measles. There are few other ways in which these diseases spread are through direct contact, through infected food and water, through the air we breathe, through insects and through carriers. Now the diseases through direct contact. They spread through direct contact either through clothing or other articles used by the sick person. Examples of such diseases are common cold, chicken pox, measles, ringworm, whooping, cough and scarlet. As you can see in the picture, while handshaking with the infected person, you will get such type of direct contact and you will get such disease. Diseases through infected food and water. Flies and cockroaches carry germs from fevers and contaminated our food and water. The meaning of contaminated means infected food and water. Milk from diseased cows can be a source of infection. Some examples of such diseases are typhoid, cholera, diarrhea, polio and jaundice. Diseases through the air we breathe. They can spread through sneezing and coughing. When germs are passed from one person to another through air. Germs are present in the discharge from the nose and the mouth of a patient. Examples of such diseases are chicken pox, whooping cough, diphtheria, influenza, scarlet fever. This picture is of chicken pox. Now the diseases through insects. Diseases are caused by blood sucking insects like mosquitoes, fleas, bugs and scent flies. Some examples of these diseases are malaria, yellow fever, plague, dengue and kala azar. This is images of disease kala azar. I want to share some important information. In year 1994, a large number of people in parts of Maharashtra and Gujarat suffered from plague caused by the bites of red and flea. Dengue fever. It is transmitted to a person by the bite of an AD mosquito that is infected with dengue fever. And malaria is caused by a protozoan carried by the female Anopheles mosquito. See the picture of the female Anopheles mosquito. Now the question will come in your mind that why are only female mosquito carry malaria disease and how it can be spread. The female mosquito sucks human blood which helps it to lay eggs. And the male mosquitoes suck up only water and plant juices. 
When a mosquito bites a person suffering from malaria, the protozoa are sucked up with the blood. And when this mosquito bites a healthy person, the protozoa are injected into the person's blood causing malaria. Diseases spread through carriers. Some diseases are spread by healthy carriers of germs. A healthy person may carry germs in his body. Such a person usually does not suffer from the disease. And the people who come into contact with the carrier are in danger of catching the disease. Some examples are typhoid, cholera, dysentery. AIDS is also an incurable communicable disease that damages the immune system of the person and leads to death. And it is spread by a virus called HIV. Just for your information, the full form of AIDS is Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. And the HIV stands for Human Immunodeficiency Virus. In the next video, we will discuss about methods for prevention of communicable diseases. That's it for today kids. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.